Fans, we got a score of 36 to 28, and we welcome to you to another Red Raider contest. This is Gary McNeil, and uh, we're going to do the uh, fourth quarter of the varsity game. London's up by, re yeah, reserve game. I said varsity, my mistake. Thanks, Carl. And um, right now, London's leading by a score of, like I said, 36 to 28. Balls inbounds by. Grandview, we are playing Grandview, by the way. Grandview looks inside, a little short jumper. Rebound by number 52, and I believe that is Van Horn. Van Horn gets playing time on both the varsity and reserves quite a bit, so look for him to be on the varsity next year. And we got a steal, and we got a double dribble. And the coach and the fans do not like the call. My cameraman had a little closer view of that. He had his radar on and he said the ball was held, carried on the side. Inbounds to Trey Wright. I think Trey was sick last night. He didn't play. Rebound by number 10, Ross Deo. Deo makes it cut to the middle. Shot by Baker. Ken Baker, six foot two. These guys are all sophomores. And I think that magnet John told us about last night is going the other way. We have a score of 38 to 28. The magnet seems to be on our basket tonight. We'll take all the magnets we can get. Trey right handles the ball on the side. There's the Tim Baker. Ross there. Number 44. Josh Inlow. Must have been before the shot. Ball is out to London. Ken Baker goes to throw it in. Let's see what London can do tonight. Looks like they're handling the ball pretty well. Not doing bad. Goes it to Van Horn. Trey gets a three second violation. Turns it back over to Grandview. And London's in a full court press so far. Sort of a lenient full court press. Score still 38-28. We're down to the 420 mark in the contest. And we got a traveling call. Turnover by Grandview. Got BJ Laney in the game now. And I didn't see who the other player come in. 24, I think. David Wasmuth. 34. 34. That's Brandon Timmons. And right off the bat, Timmons gets the shot. It's partially blocked. Partial foul, no call. Still a 10 point game. And Timmons picks up a foul. Three fouls on Timmons. And we got a push on number forty two, who is Ryan Ranboom. Ranbaum. I called him Boom, Carl. Glad to see our uh, board president over in the corner there. Congratulations to uh, Mr. Peterson for getting the president of the school board job. Hope he does a good job. I'm sure he will. And he goes scoring. He's to call for travel. Grand 
are handling the ball pretty well. They just need to make a shot tonight. But running their defense doing pretty well. We got another Martin up here. <laughs> we got another Martin up here. As long as you don't say nothing negative, I'll handle you. If you do that, I have to knock you over that rail. We got to keep everything on the up to up. Mm -hmm. I hear you. And picked up at defense. We got a, it's a foul and one. Baker's fourth foul. Number 34 will be going to the line. Who is Tim Bauman? With a chance to make this come within seven. We have an eight point lead, 38 to 30. Right at three minutes to go in the contest. Seven point game. 38 31 London. Ha! Ah, turn around the wrong way and gets the roll. Number 30, Baker. I think Baker kind of felt, faked him out. I think he's left handed. Made that turn the opposite way and. It's a foul on Baker again. He's out of the game. And Ken Becker picks up his fifth foul. I think last night, Carl, I gave somebody six fouls. That's in the pro game. It's like London's giving them a chance to come back here. 40-31, we still got a nine-point lead, so we're hanging in there. London needs to take the ball and just run it up the court and show them who's playing. They're scoring uh, while the clock's off. Now you can't be coaching up here since you don't even know how to play the game yourself. I don't know how to play, I just don't feel like it. No, you don't know how to play. You don't in the fifth grade, shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my leg arms next time, Carl will strap him to that post over there. Just kidding, John. They're wanting a three second, which would have been a good call. Laney up top of the key, top of the circle there. Dale gets the ball back, passes it to Walsman. Walsman shoots for three. It's no good. But no brick. Bounce off the rim, come off easy. Told you nothing about this game. Rolls out. Oh, whatever, man. They were able to retain the ball. And we got a traveling call, number 20. Who is? I don't know. Van Horn enters the game for Washington. Then called a shot of brick, Carl, and it just barely bounced off the rim. Almost went in. Uh, whatever. A brick. What rolls out? <laughs> a brick. Yeah, I thought I was bad. I thought a bank if I was. <laughs> he banked it. <laughs> we got 154 to go in this reserve contest. 40-32. London's still holding eight-point edge there. Got a good shot of some of the faithful few. A lot of them, Carl, don't show up until time for the varsity game. Some of them just laid back, relaxing. Sorry to report that the girls had a loss today. They lost to Bexley. I guess it wasn't pretty, but those things happen. We just have to pick up the pieces and go from there. I think it's kind of hurt them a lot when they lost Joe Young with the broken ankle. And that's, that's quite some pretty good shoes to fill. Maybe gets the ball. 
Pass it to Miller, which he gets it stolen. Then he tries to steal the ball back and goes. Dayo going, driving for it pretty good. 22. Oh! Not by 44. And there is Miller. Enlow makes the drop, the block. And there. Van Horn, a good bank shot, and it's good, and it's there. We still have an eight point. Oh, we got a 10 point game now, 42 32. That might have put the icing on the cake. We still got a minute and 10 seconds. Back down to eight points. Got to take care of the ball. We got a foul. Timmons gets the foul, number 10. I think Grandview's kind of forced to foul this time. Uh, Todd. Colin Todd made that foul. Colin Todd. As Andy Whitelow goes back into the game. Andy's had a lot of playing time tonight. Andy and Wolf Smith go in. Van Horn comes out. We'll have to save him for a little, probably a little varsity action, maybe. And number 34. Timmons makes good on the first one. And two points for Timmons, like you said. We're back up to a 10 point lead. Pass down court, looks like he got the easy layup, and yes he did. Good. <laughs> You see how he come up from there? He's like, Deo's driving down. Big time wrestling. Pass it to Westwood. And we had a steal. steal. Here comes Grandview. Yeah, he's working on it. I don't know if anybody ever could get that, the oop. And knocked away by number 44, Enlow. Josh, six foot one, goes up and rejects that one. Puts it clear over in the stands. I think this whole time I've been saying wrong names. It's all right. You're trying to whisper to me, John, but that thing picks up everything you say. So they know you're saying wrong name. <laughs> 26 seconds to go, and London will have another win for them to put in their column. This is great. 44-39. We're still looking at a five-point game. It's, it's not over yet. I might be a little premature here. I didn't realize it got that close. Yeah, I'm up here listening to John run his mouth. He ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Whatever. Got a foul. Put number 10 on the line. That's uh, Russ. What do you say, Carl? No! <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, don't you sing, because you can't sing. Please. Please. I get paid millions of dollars. Please. Please, John. Millions. That's enough. Just shut up. Yeah. But give me that mask and tape. I hear you. Just jealous. I can sing and you can't. Basically. Give me that mask and tape. Dale. Yeah. That was turned out to be a good foul. Oh, good pass, Dale to White up for two. Got him and he scores. And that should have put the icing on the cake, like I said once before. We got a double layer of icing. There goes Timmons. And a block by uh, Enlow. And we got a foul. And we still have a seven point game with nine seconds, so. Can we put this one in the book, John, as a win? I think we can. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to ask me? <laughs> uh, no, you don't know. Well, Look at that. It's a six-point game now. Nine seconds. A lot can happen in nine seconds. They're going to have to foul right immediately or miss this shot. Oh, that Jimmy did it. Grabs it that should have did it. Smith. Call timeout. Is that what we did? We, I thought it was a foul. 24. Well, Wasmuth would be going to the line. He just stood there and waited for him to foul him, which very well could be a smart play. Why take a chance on losing the ball? Make him come up there and try to take it away from you. 
Yeah, and they only had, there was only nine in the game. We're down to three seconds now. And it's near steal, and, near steel, uh, and the game is over. And London comes out with the victorious victory here. What's the score, John? The score is 46 to 40. In favor of London. Thank London you. Another victory. You did a good job. Now go home. <laughs> I don't think I will. <laughs> okay, now we're going to pick up the varsity coming in. Let them go through their things as we see their scoreboard there. 46 to 40, reserves come out with a win. Good job, reserves. Good job, coach. And here's a rundown for London. Bob Myers out front. The rundown of the score for the Red Raiders come out victorious, 46 to 40. We got a heck of a game coming up here, Carl. I see where Grandview is something like uh, 13 or 14 and two. They've only lost one game in the BAC, so. One thing they do is they do a lot of hustling. London's going to have their work cut out for them tonight. As London makes her traditional circle around the floor, and now it's a little ball workout. Hopefully Tommy will be up here with me again tonight. If not, I'll be winging it. So, uh, got the pet band over the corner. They brought the team in. Brandon Timmons had eight points. We missed that one, I guess. So, uh, you folks hang around here for a few seconds, and uh, we'll put a little shot on the band there and let them play a little bit. This makes it pretty nice, Carl, because we're able to do a little bit of the reserve where in football we're scratching for time, but base basketball goes a little bit quicker, so we have a little bit of time on the tape. We can show you folks a little bit more. Cheerleaders are going through a pretty good ritual there. They got a little, what do you call that? Uh, they used to have a bunch of dancers that used to do something similar to that on TV back in my day. And we got a solo. So stick around, folks. Don't go away. We'll have the varsity game coming up here in just a few seconds. Take me home, Carl. Nice little cheer by the routine by the London cheerleaders. I've been out here a few times and still practicing in the commons, Carl, and they they work just about as hard as the boys do getting ready for a for the game. So cheering's not no easy thing. It's done right. Get a shot of our um, new board president, uh, Mr. Peterson, over there. Want to wish him well and congratulate him. I think I mentioned it earlier, but uh, we didn't get a picture of him, so that's him over there with uh, Kathy Buckerfield, who is our also our latest principal. So wish them both well in their new jobs and hope everything goes fine for them. Mr. Peterson's got quite a task ahead of him trying to get this uh, bond levy passed. But like I said once before, folks, you better get it together because the longer you wait, the more it's going to cost, and nobody wants to pay any more than they have to, so 
mark my word, it's going to pass someday. So just walk past now and get it over with and give these kids a good place to uh, go to school. Like you said, student success is our mission. And let's back that up a little bit here. We got two seniors graduating. And then they, as far as the boys go that I know of, that's Gandy and uh, Irvin. And both of them are going to college, on the college. Gandy just accepted a scholarship to OU. And Irvin is going to uh, Ohio State. And both of them are carrying better than a four-point average. So nobody can tell us that we don't have some good teachers and good great, great students in our school. So we got to get behind them. And the only way we can do them is show them that we really mean business and pass this bond levy. I know it might be early for a lot of people, but I feel we got to start thinking about it now, get something on the move. Get behind me, folks. Love all of you, but we need to get this bond levy passed. And we got another shot of the... What do you call that band? That pep band, isn't it? Yeah, the pep band. Little Andy White, though, just come off the reserve basketball game, and he's over there working out on a drum now. I think he had three fouls. He might have had seven for the whole game. <laughs> just kidding, Andy. So now he's going to take his frustration out on that drum. That's a good way to take his frustration out. Don't get enough fouls in the game. Beat on that drum. Born to be wild. I got a feeling Tommy might not make it tonight, so once again, I'm going to be winging it, looks like. We'll do the best we can. Red Raiders are coming back out. we got about four minutes to go before starting time, and I'm going to take a break before I get so hoarse I can't talk. Can't go when the fight song's on. Sucking on the other way on me, huh? Yeah. I just got through saying I didn't know whether he was going to make it or not because I know you're supposed to go down to Colorado. Down there with them buffaloes or something. <laughs> you said it, I did. Can't roll the skate in the buffalo herd. I told you that last night. The re reserves got them a win tonight. So uh, we're starting out on a pretty good note. I think it was like 48 to 42 or four, something like that. Pretty close game, but they pulled it out. Grandview beat Madison Plains last night by 12, I believe. Is that right? So I, possibly, I was talking to the Grandview coach, and his record, I think, is something like about it's probably 14 or 15 and 2 right now. And uh, he said, uh, you're not going to believe it. When you see these kids play, he said, you're not going to believe that they've even won a game. So I'm kind of curious as to what he was talking about. He was serious, so somehow they have that winning instinct, and that makes a difference. Maybe it'll rub off on us tonight, and we'll make amends for last night's loss. We got a little over two minutes to go. I see, uh, what's the name over from uh, Springfield Catholic had a good game, even though they couldn't pull it out against Duke. Did you see that game today? No. Yeah, uh, Collier. He's going to be a player. I didn't think he would, but as long as they let him play the position that he wants to play, he's going to, like you said, he's going to be probably be an NBA player someday. Oh, you're the center that used to play for Indiana? Yeah, yeah. He don't like to get in there and mix it up, but uh, well, I, before I fell asleep, he had 27 points, and this was in the third quarter. So he's doing a good job. Playing their favorite song, Eat Em Up, Raw, Raw, Raw. I know it. John, come over and help me out with the uh, reserve game. Oh, he just took over. He did? Yeah. I, I had to put a straight jacket on to, to cool him down. <laughs> he can't hear me. How we doing on time, Carl? Guess don't make much difference now. 
35. I've been out filming horses all morning. Filming horses? What, what do you mean filming horses? The guys out the fairground training their horses, they want their horses filmed. Uh oh. Uh, you know me being the expert cameraman. You, uh -huh. man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I threw your name out there. <laughs> People love their animals. Yeah. We may get a full tape this time because the game usually takes about an hour and 40 minutes, so we got, we'll shut down at halftime. <coughs> and we're getting ready for the introduction of the team, so I'm going to get back out of the way so I won't be standing in front of the flag. Jimmy Jackson at Ohio State. Is that right? Who was it? Steve Hall. Coach okay, Hall. okay, yeah. Is he coaching reserve? Play with intensity. This Grandview ball club may be in for a surprise, huh? <laughs> I sure hope so because it's. I think London can do it. It's just a matter of making their mind up and go ahead and everybody get on the same page. So we're starting out with Miller, Caudle, Wheeler, Dillard, and Gandy. Right on it, Anna. Gandy was running them over last night, <laughs> wasn't he? Oh, man. Randy, you control the tip. Runners in their zone defense. Grove draws first blood. <laughs> and we got another, we got a steal. There's one of Reynolds' shots there. He's using that board, didn't go in, but. Over transition. Good 
move by Miller. Miller will take it to the basket on you. He's a very intense ball player. London going man to man. Get him down. You sure? To the hole. I to check that out. I was trying to see where Wheeler was playing on that man to man. Had a takeaway from Wheeler, but London ended up with the ball. London's finest uh, behind us. As long as he keeps on walking, I said, I'm okay. You got your keys with you? Okay. Yeah, I got my keys. You can get me out then if they put me in. And you tell me to take him off when I coach? <laughs> yeah, when you coach, take them things off. <laughs> Miller up top. What's crying? You want to give me London's offense here? Oh. Oh. What do you think? Second sooner. I thought Dillard might turn around and go for that little jumper. He was he was knocking him down last night. All you got to do is make one. And <laughs> Gandy wanted an explanation on that one, didn't he? We had a technical called in the last game, so these officials are not afraid to call a technical. No, sometimes you have to let teams know who's in control. I see dancing dooms down there, so we might have a dance <laughs> later on in the game. There's the lob. Uh. Should be out London. to London. A lot of action in that basket. You still have a score of 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So you was filming horses, huh? Filming horses. There's a market in that. Oh, well, let me, tell me and Carl about that. I'm surprised you and Carl have ex explored that opportunity. Well, we're Coddle with the shot. Up and in. Two for Carl. We definitely will now since, you know, you can be our manager. Yeah. Lame horses just get out there and film and go around the track because them owners like looking at their legs. Diller with the rebound. Rebound, Diller. Got a dribble entry going here. Let's see how this works. They're running the man-to-man -man against us. It's almost a matchup, man. Diller for two, three. Gandy no with good. the rebound. Gandy strong. A little, little too strong. Didn't get turned around, didn't get squared up then. Miller makes an attempt to make a steal, but it doesn't work. And Irwin scores. Irwin. Four to four. Grandview's Irwin. We have an Irwin, too. We have to watch that. He's an E, isn't he? Irwin, Irwin. Oh, my fault. <laughs> we need it. We got it. That's a good start for him. I think that's his first attempt, so he might be in it for a good night. London's up by uh, three, seven to four. Miller with the with block. The block. Even London lost last night against Big Walnut. The pressure tonight is not as nearly as intense as it was last night. It isn't, is it? They seem a little more relaxed. You Third. like, yeah, and then the coach was able to put this together, I think, so far. I'm not going to count my eggs yet, but I think we can do it. Ooh. Another block. <laughs> Uh-oh. He getting, he's getting three seconds, three seconds. How about that? Good call, coach. <laughs> I know she was calling that from the bench in, in your game the other night, three seconds. And Diller's having a good start so far. Those blocks he's made have been a hair within being called a foul. And the reason I say that is because he's still coming down with his hand. And as long as he gets away with it, that's fine. It wasn't a foul, but a lot of officials would call that a foul. My hair or your hair? Huh? You said it was a hair from me and a thigh. My hair or yours? You got a little bit more than I got. That's why I keep this hat on. But a lot of people don't know why. This, this hat is my trademark, see? I let him sit at halftime. But uh, it also covers. 
it saves the camera because the iris can't take all this baldness, all this shiny bald hot spot there. Still buying your hats at the Lincoln Village. Oh uh, man, Mark. Carl gets them for me and then he goes over. Volunteers of America. Did you get it out the county fair tag? <laughs> <laughs> Stand they busted. <laughs> oh, they sure did, didn't they? I remember hearing about that. Yeah. I tried to get a couple sweats <laughs> before they got busted out. Huh? Yeah, I said they're counterfeit. Who knows unless someone's walking around checking tags. Yeah, for real. During Grandview come out with a mild half-court press. Miller gets into the paint. And he's we got a foul. Might be on 42. I'd say Patterson. Lindham, where's he at? I guess I better put my glasses on. Wheels for oh. Can get you, can you change? You got him nicknamed Wheels now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I won't remember that. I thought uh, Will was going, um, uh, Miller's going out there. He did try to go for a block. He had a foul again. He pick up his first one. I'm right on that. First team first. Foul on Miller. Shoot. Look at my board. <laughs> Tell me I don't know what I'm doing. John still tried to get downstairs, didn't he? Yeah. We got an eye on him. Yeah, he's, a, he's a big eighth grader. <laughs> yeah. He's too big. <laughs> Talking about he gonna grab me. <laughs> I put him in a straight jacket. <laughs> Number 22, Wendell scores. First one. I'm gonna sign him up with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Wendell makes two foul shots. They're handling the press. Oh, my fault. I got it, don't worry. Good move, I don't. Straight up with it. Straight up again. Him, coach. When you get it down there where you got to lose. Go for it. <laughs> All you can do is draw a foul. Go to the line. London's on the hustle. Here comes Miller. Score 96. Wheeler short there and Gandu oh. with the go head on. That's why you hustle up and down the court. And everybody's got to do it. And that's something we have been a little lackadaisical at in some of our games. But you never know when that free ball. Mr. Cochran always said that uh, a follow-up man is usually a pass away from getting the shot. Because that ball usually is going to be missed on that first layup. Sorry. Well, they're flashing across the paint. Pick away and cut to the ball. Oh, my fault. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll catch you. Keep your eye on the game. Nice cut. Get in there. Good bank. Go on, Gandy. <laughs> was he out there when you was filming? Because he got his legs under the line. He's been knocked down two in a row. Were well, they both banks? Off glass, and he called it. Love Grove is a big man. We got score down to two point difference now, 13 to 11. 123 to go in the quarter. Kick it out. Good move, just didn't be quite squared up. That's a good shot he's got there. He gets turned around right. Ooh. Oh man, that was before the shot. By window. That bucket it ties it at 13. We got a new type uh, recorder over here. 
He's pretty cool. He got he got some radar eyes, Carl. You watch him. He follows it too. Oh, look at it like he wants one. <laughs> Carl wants a bigger monitor. We got Irvin into the ball game, replacing Miller. 106 to go. First quarter. London's first sub. No, we got Dominguez in there too. I didn't see him come in. He didn't forgot the game. Oh, he <laughs> said, oh. <laughs> Miller. Uh, straight up. Irvin. Well, you got the loot. <laughs> Should have used the board. Didn't have enough strength to use the board. Is that Miller? I couldn't see him. I thought, it's Irvin. He's going to the board. I said, Irvin. Carl don't know. He, was staring, he can't hear. He was staring at that kid's bracelet. Irvin, yeah. Irvin knocks in one. I didn't say no Miller. I can tell the difference between them two. All right. Two points for Irvin. London's Irvin. That gives us one point lead, 15 to 14. Oh, they got a three-point shooter there. He's pretty smooth with it. They're going to have to get a little closer to him. See, London made him come out of that press. Move it. London's down by two now. And we got a foul on number 20. Baker. Baker. Right. His first team's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're just waiting on the clock, wasn't you? That was good. You're right on it. I like that. We got a timeout with London with 24 seconds to go in the first quarter. We have a score of 17 to 15. Grandview. They're kind of a sparse crowd tonight. I want to invite all everybody to come out to uh, Thursday night's game. See Coach Wilson in action. Yeah. Have you played John Norton yet this year? Yeah. How'd you do? Over the shutdown, we beat him one by one. So 29 to 28. Woo. High scoring affair. So we could be maybe looking for a good game. I didn't care if the score was three to two. As long as, we as, long as you three. win, that's right. That big W. Wheeler and, and he's looked like he was fouled, but he was stripped. I think London can take the ball to the bucket against his Grandview team because they're not playing very aggressive defense. Oh, well, I seen where they didn't beat the planes too bad. So. Um, we should be right in the game, even though they are sporting a, only a two-game loss this year. Diller for two. Whoa, did you see that? We're still in the first quarter. Oh, that went in. Was it good? No one. It. No good. <laughs> they wanted it, too. Did you have that, Carl? <laughs> They're, they're calling him, they're waving it off. And he's appealing to the other official. All the officials are looking. And I believe Lovegrove is the team captain. And he appealed, respect, <laughs> and he appealed respectfully. <laughs> I think uh, the coach knew it wasn't, or he uh, had a little bit more to say than what he did. It was close. I just, the referees didn't expect the ball to go in. So both teams are we're starting a new game. Starting the second quarter, 17-17. You, know, you know you guys can sell that. But. Well, we sold one, but we never got paid. Remember the one that, um, what was the boy made that one call, that 94-footer? How long was the court? I don't know. 
He just stepped in bounds and threw it the length of court, and the dispatch or the Channel 10 was here, and they didn't get it. I direct contact with ESPN. They took our tape and took us forever to get it back. <laughs> Diller, Diller, go ahead. That gives him what eight? Six by my count, unofficially. Running up two. 1917. Hargrove. Hargrove, he's a three-point shooter. He the one that threw that in, you say? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. London's playing good defense. Foully. I think we have a foul on Gandy. Carl, did the flag uh, interfere with the flight of the ball? Yeah. So you lost it, but you caught it going in. Oh, you are you, you the man. You the man, Carl. Is he that good? Oh, he's good. Well, I know he can fill them horses. <laughs> Got a score in 19-18 so far. Did he make that one, Tom? Yes, he did. Did you give it to him? Yes, I did. <laughs> you were lying. <laughs> give one to another one. Okay. <laughs> I guess they don't get to see it, so all right, we can copy off of the man downstairs. It's kind of hard to do that and watch the game too. London's in a one, similar to a one, what I call one four. Out of bounds, Diller tried to recover. He was kind of shoved around, no call was made. That inside's open. They get it in there, they got to be strong with it. It's open. He can't wait for him to back in on him. He's got to go up with it soon when he gets it. Who's London playing now? Triangle and two? I was trying to figure out why I'm going. I think they might be. 21-19 in favor of Grandview. Uh. And a takeaway. Look at that football. Is he the basketball uh, quarterback? That was a bullet pass there. Against Grandview at every level. Freshman J.B. and Marcy, you've got to get back because they look to run everything. That's right. In other words, you say they do a lot of pot hanging. Pot hanging, cherry picking. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Look at John. I don't know what John's doing back there. you got to watch him. He sees these bars up here. He thinks they're top ropes. He's ready to jump over. <laughs> he goes flying on over there. We'll know something. <laughs> do a swan dive over this bar. Yeah. Pick him up. Lay it on the floor. Two feet. So far, it's four to two in the uh, second quarter. Get out on the floor, stand in the center court, rip his shirt off. 23-19. Hollering out, bring on Mike Tyson. Yeah, well, you know where he's at. No, you see where they just put it, locked him up. Man, I, I can't believe that. Man had everything in the world going for him, and he's just, there's got to be something wrong in, in, that, in that head. <laughs> Them brains ain't right or something. Judge gave him a year. Yep, he just got out of him not too long ago. Okay, we got Miller. Running the show up top. Third in there. No, not now. Look at, yeah, they're, they're backing in. Miller's got plenty of time. Miller good. with the oh, he's oh, on the line. line. He's he has a good a try to. We've seen that up here. Yeah. He was hustling. He got up pretty high to get that, too. Miller can jump. He's got long arms. He's quicker than he looks, and he can get off the, court, get off the floor. He's a com junior. junior. He's a competitor. Miller with another block. And here he comes. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> number one thing, number 20, stuck his hand in there, he didn't stick his body in front of him. Oh no. 
I know what the reason is. I think one of the first things you were taught when you were coming up, when you get a board like that, give the ball to the guard. Then get on down there and, and pick up an easy layup. Two quick jump stop. Give it up. Twenty-three nineteen. Running down by four. Oh, <laughs> Did you see call? The other major block, and that's no jump ball should have been. Uh oh, here comes Mandy again. Give it up. That's it. All right, Urban. I guess Gandy wanted to be a guard too. He took the ball down the floor okay that time. Did a good job. Good pass. Urban scores. Running down to 23 to 21. Good call, Tom. Thank you. Is that official? <laughs> Filming the horse's legs. I can't believe it. Was Richie Maber out there with his horses? I see his horse eyes filming. Oh no! <laughs> Chico, the man. Oh, They're definitely good. looking for that three and a good steal by Miller. They're looking to go from corner to corner. Here comes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he missed him, didn't he? Got a look. Dillard. They're packing it in there pretty quick, Tommy. You watch. They're doubling Gandy, leaving Dillard open on the weak side. And Dillard get hot. He'll eat him up. Good move. There we go. Nice touch. Nice Dillard up. had about 19 last night, didn't he? Yeah. Tie ball game, like you said. 23-23. Who's he talking to? Irvin comes up with ball. Here comes Miller. Nice pick. Miller Gary. time. See, they look to push him. And they got five people pushing with him. Pat Dillard has got three or four blocks tonight and no fouls. Man, he is on, buddy. Twenty-five, twenty-three. Got another score change. Uh-oh. Kind of pick Miller's pocket and scores. Baker. Irwin up for the jumper. Bingo! Go ahead, Greg. I don't think his daddy's here tonight. Yeah, Maybe that's why he's playing so good. Where's he at? He's sitting up there. Oh, okay. I bet his daddy told him, boy, you get that ball, you shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he did. I ain't allowed to bet, though. I forgot. I can't bet. Oh, he traveled. Oh. 29-25, got a four-point game, 2-10 to go in the first half. Dillard, he's looking, and we should have a foul. Shoot, you're getting to know these people by name, ain't you? You got uh, one of them memories like uh, Jerry Lucas had. Can you read like Jerry? Jerry, read a thousand words a minute. And six zeros on that <laughs> bank book. You got that right. Carl, I guess his first first attempt that I remember. It doesn't go and I'm not sure what London's playing. They're in man in a man, aren't they? It's like triangle too. Where's the triangle at? Irvin, Dillard, and Gandy. Looks like they're guarding Lovegrove and Wendell, man to man. You must watch this and be sure. Shy and Bennett finally got one and a basket count. 
That's his second foul. Isn't it? I got him down for one. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Right on it. Oh, I got another can of pop. Is that same? Poor Carl. Poor Carl getting all this pop. He be sneaking pop up here and don't let nobody know it. I guess he knows I don't drink cola. 32-25, we're they're trying to sneak away from us. We need this. Dillard. Dandy was strong, strong and he was and fouled by out. number 10. Kingston. Kingston. And that was a strong rebound. 110 to go in there. The um, first half, and we still only got four and five fouls. Wheels. Wheels looked like he was moving before he might release that ball. Caudle up top. Pop out. Diller for Diller, sure. Diller's feeling it, isn't he? That gives him uh, 10 points so far. 27-32. We're at the uh, 40 seconds to go in the first junior. half. Yeah, he's a junior, right. So he can only get better. He gets to jumping too much higher and no taller than he is. Look out. I saw somebody on college banks, they go up and hit the top of the square. Yeah. Blocking the shot. Not in the stall, baby. Look for love, bro. Down to seven seconds, left goes. He, he gets travel. Call for travel. Four seconds. 32 27. We're still very much in it. We'll get a shot off. Go, ball. Uh. Oh, a little short. And there's still one second to go on the clock. They're going to let him make this chimp. They better put somebody on it and made it all ago. <laughs> that was a smart move. He <laughs> said, well, we made yeah. one. Let's try and get another one on. <laughs> so at the end of that first half, we have a score of 27-32. Must have been, down. Go ahead, Tom. Must have been a mix-up with the clock. That was a long five seconds. It was, wasn't it? scoring from us. That got Tommy with him. Let's see my trademark, my fine hat. Wait, let me get it on your right. There we go. London was able to uh, knock them 17 in the first quarter, but drop down to 10 in the second quarter, so we're going to have to have a little more protective third quarter. But at, with Irvin had six points, and uh, Miller's got two. Caudill has two. Wheeler has three. Dillard, high man with 10, and uh, Gandy with four. So, that's fairly even scoring with Stephen Dillard. And he's done an excellent job. He's only got two fouls. And we got a score of 32 to 27. Um, have you got it? You'll have it run down. We'll get that later. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime, we're going to take a break. How are we doing on time, Carl? Very, pretty good. You don't know? They're playing too loud, huh? Okay, well, go ahead and put it back on the band, and then we'll take a break. I'll let Tommy go get some pizza. Uh, 
leave it on the band for, for a little while. We got a little time. You want pizza? I'm buying. How's that sound? I'm okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I didn't want to give up this dollar and a half anyway. <laughs> well, so far, Tom has been a very well played game. Um, had some bad news today. The girls got beat over at uh, Bexley. You know, G. Millar took over the varsity girls, so I kind of expected that. But, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Well, I didn't expect them to get beat, because, but I expected G. Millar to win because G. Millar, he knows he's a, he's a, a better, super veteran coach. Imagine a high school basketball. He'll get that little extra out of you. That's right. And he knows the tricks of the trade. Well, he's been to the state. He's won the state. So he's the one that made the first basket at St. John's Arena and the last basket there when they, when they moved to the shot center. So he's well known. And anytime they have a problem, he's retired twice. Anytime they have a problem, here he comes. Straighten the program out. Call team. Yeah. When in doubt, call team. There you go. Let's uh, have we have any shots of uh, any shots of the parents, Carl? Okay. All right, we're gonna take a break in. As soon as the band ends this number here. <laughs> John just wants to go downstairs. <laughs> hey! Why are you sassy? Are you singing? Oh, Lord. I won't cry. I won't cry. You are, you're going to make us cry if you keep singing like that. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. We have a score of 27 to 32. Uh, Grandview's in the lead. Who are the leading scorers for Grandview right now, Tom? Unofficially. Uh, uh, okay. For Grandview, we had Love Grove with 14 and Wendell with 10. So those are two people. That Love Grove, he was going to do that uh, about 84 front foot shot. That didn't count. And he's the junior. Yeah. Six, four, he's only a junior? Yeah. We gotta look at him again next year. Hang on, Sloopy. Where'd John go? What boys? The boy ain't got them all. He about. Shots up like this one. Where's that first guy? Go away. That's Hollywood Hill Street, baby. Good size arm there. Yeah, he is for eighth grade. I'm gonna see what kind of jump shot he's got this summer. Yeah. Are we ready to get started? I think he rigged it. <laughs> I got a feeling. Well, he's a, he drives a rig, so. <laughs> Look at him. He's great. Oh, yeah, he's happy. You, got, you pick him up, Carl? Look at him. Get a shot of the grand. winner, the $75 grand. winner. Look at him. Get to that. Be sure I'm paying a tax on that, too, Bill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can buy the pizza tonight. Look at Andy right over there, too. He's going, he going after his little share of it. <laughs> That's his like, son. He's like, Dad, give me some money. Yeah, give up some bucks. Uh huh. It didn't seem the whole game. He got he over there now, slapping, giving five. What's that? Oh. <laughs> up there? I'm a man. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got a ball game going here. 32, 27. John, you gotta go sit down and leave us alone. That boy got an arm like Big Papa Pump. Fourth, eighth grader. At first, I thought he was taking his hand and pushing it up so it looked like that muscle. 
Box. Miller with the steal. That's good. Mm, Miller took himself into the shooting area and then backed out. London playing with patience. Miller, with the Miller shot, gets his own rebound, he's good for two. 29-32. He's Three, aggressive. Three-point game. Well, you don't let him get in that close. That's a good thing, though. It didn't go in, but boy, he was clear into the foul line. Nobody within five feet of him. Like, kind of like Dennis Robin. Let him go. Let him shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Robin used to thing. shoot when he was with the with the Pistons. Nice look. Good pass. That's what you get when you get numbers coming down the floor. It's a situation I've been harping about all year. You got to get numbers when you come down that floor. Dribble it. I got a feeling he didn't think he had a dribble. It happened so quick. Good move, Miller. He makes a drive. Back out to Cottle. Miller, they're looking for him. It's a little slow. Oh, gets the roll. <laughs> Randy's picked it up and notch on defense. They're busting the cutter. Every cutter through their elbow. In London, they continue to play good defense. Dillard, let him change the shot. Blue ball. One thing that uh, I think he may have to work on a little bit on the offseason is getting a little strength in his hands. I know you could throw the ball to Dave Stanley when he was living. You couldn't get that ball out of his hands. Or get it and kick it out. Good outlet pass. Yeah. Go the other way with it. Oh. Hey, he took that away from his own player. It was all in good effort, though. That's, you know, you got to be aggressive. For three. Boom. 37 31. Six point difference. 5 16 to go. Third quarter. We've hung around. We're not going to go away so far. So stay like this through the fourth quarter. We'll have a chance of pulling this one out. Dillard, you got to shoot. A little long. Miller. Or Wheeler. No good. Cotto got his arm pinned behind him. White ball. Uh-oh. That's the way you get on the floor. Love and the smallest ball. man on the floor, number 12, comes in and shoves him away. Elder. He said this is a no-contact sport. <laughs> yeah, right. You knew that was when you used to play against Otterbein. <laughs> Coming out of bruised arms and knots on your head. Of course, you always had a knotty oh. head. <laughs> no good but Miller. Here comes, the, oh, behind the back move. Come down with number. Diller Diller. With the block oh. foul. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Yeah, you got to let it go. He got a pretty calm official there. He talking to him. He came close to running into the official that made the call. Yeah, and that's that's a rough situation there. Especially when you feel like you really made a good block. It's good. <clears throat> Number 22, shooting two, Wendell. Made the first one. Gets him 11. That's not supposed to happen. He caught us sleeping that time. I think with the, with the rule change on the free throw, yeah, it gives the offense the advantage. It, it, it seems like it does. We'll get Diller with another one. Walk. 
Wheeler for two. Brandon Wheeler. That's his first two of the third quarter. That gives him five. I like to see the postman playing strong like that. That's where you have to play in the post. Until the referee calls a foul, you have to establish position down there. You got to make the official call. The ball's come off right in their hands. Oh, we got a traveling call. You're right on that traveling call, ain't you? <laughs> got it, honestly. <laughs> So that referee blows the whistle, get big down there, knock somebody around, because if you don't, they're going to get you. And they always get the second person, so you got to be the first one to make the knock. Knock, knock, who's there? Second man, foul. 40 to 33 with 3.28 to go. Third quarter. Telling him to shoot. Oh. He wanted to dribble a little while. Show him what show him his stuff. Here we got a shot. Mm. <laughs> he looked like a football player too. I think he can knock somebody down. John Yard. Go get it, Miller. Box him out. That's a good call, Coach. Put him on his on your back, huh? Yeah, <laughs> righty. Toddle, four three. Three. Running down four, 40, 36, with two thirty left in the third. That gives Collar brings Collar up to five points. Miller's Miller's tired. This is a second three. <laughs> I think the strategy on this is. Oh, oh that's got to be a foul. Pass denial, but it had to be a foul. So I think the strategy on this is let everybody else shoot. Just don't let Love Grove or Wendell beat you. And right now we're down. Seven points, 43 to 36, with 201 left in the third quarter. And who's got all the points? Wendell and Lovegrove. Mm. He'll shoot it, he'll shoot it. So will he. That gives Urban about 13 points. I think just about anybody on this team is going to hurt you from the looks of things. Out of bounds to London. The corner's dangerous. And it is, isn't it? Playing little ball games on top of Wheeler's head that time. We've got Urban in for hot auto. I want you to know, I really appreciate you coming up here and helping me out. It's, it's been rough when I had to go about do it by myself. Miller. Ugh. I'll see to it that you get a little extra in your pay this time. <laughs> okay. Get a little bonus. <laughs> I may want to operate the camera next time. You think so? Yeah, well, Send Carl down here. I yeah, sent filming them horses today. Oh, uh, well, I, I, I want to see that. I have one of them little mini. Oh, yeah. One to hide in your hand. Yeah. I Where do you steal that at? As Miller shoots. He misses the first one. A mini cam. I got a couple of them. Went out there and they said, let Tommy do it. He does his ball games all the time. Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> and the band makes their appearance after having their brunch. Eight point ball game, Grandview up 46 to 37. Nine point ball game. I thought he was looking. Nice, oh, beautiful nice bounce pass. 
Kingston. Kingston. Mm -hmm. Beautiful bounce pass, and that was his first two. Had to be in the right place at the right time. It's up to 11 point lead now. That's a good foul, but it's almost a no-no to think you can split three people. This Grandview team seems like the type of team to me. They're not going to step on the court and blow you out. Not unless they get hot in the beginning. They just slowly but surely as the game progresses, just up two, up four, up ten. I was talking to Corbett, coach, uh, during the reserve game, and he was saying that you watch our team, you won't believe the record we got. He said, there's no way, the way Miller. they look, they should have that. Miller gets the roll. He said, there's no way that you, anybody would believe that they've got the, only got two losses. But when you know how to win, that makes a difference. They find a way somehow. 48 to 39. Back down to a nine point difference. Six seconds to go in the third quarter. Oh, he had to travel. Uh, they gonna go to the foul line. Six steps and, a, and go to the foul line. And that was a smart play by Wendell to use his body to draw the foul. Right. So he go with a shoot the foul with the clock off. He can add two. I never did understand that. If the defensive man has his position, jumps straight up and down, offensive player jumps into him like that, why isn't it an offensive foul? It shouldn't be. It's so much of a judgment call, and it's, you, it's your, supposed to be your space. I guess it's what the referee calls. Can't change it, can you? Nope. Two points for Wendell. We got uh, down by 11 now, 50 to 39, going into the final quarter. Lennon's going to pick it up a notch. The big score for Lennon in that quarter was Miller with the seven points. Gives him nine for the for, that, for the game so far. And outside of that, what too many more people scored. had scoring of 17, 10, and 12. So that's not uh, a whole lot of points. Get a good shot of the fans. The Dan I think you must have scared dancing Doom out. She hasn't danced since she said that. I think I found the tape that she's on, so check it out. I think her dad seen the tape and said, slow your roll, girl, slow your roll. Oh, man, she's a dancer. She was having fun. That's yeah, what it's all about. They're out there having fun. Having the ball. Now John's over messing with the other man's camera. Leave that man's camera alone, John. He's helping. Carl taught oh, is he him helping? Well. Okay. I am. Let me get my nose out of it. Keep him busy. Dillard, a little short, reboundable. Wheeler, man. And Wheeler. And he's a sophomore. And to the fans, I say be patient because in a year, another I year, London's going to be a team to contend with. They be getting some of the people you're sending up, huh? Hey. Is that what you're saying? You're patting yourself on the back already? Hey, I'm saying we got a sophomore. <laughs> I'm gonna help juniors. you pat yourself on the back. <laughs> I hope you can. Two juniors, good athletes at the JV level, backdoor cut, nice foul. Uh -huh. That was an automatic foul there. 
Yeah. Go ahead and finish. What were you saying now? Athletes at the JV level and athletes at the freshman level. So it's got to get better. I say amen to that. As number 22, Wendell misses his shot. He got tired of standing up already. <laughs> <laughs> None but floor, huh? Wendell gets another point. Wendell's already got 13. Urban. Urban feeling it. Oh, a little long. Diller with the rebound. Nice move. Get in. And Diller gets the tip. Offense. One thing about Dillard, he will take the foul. He'll take the charge. Some of them charges he's taking, I don't know. <laughs> he came out of nowhere to take that. To sacrifice his body for yeah. the sake of the team. <laughs> I see some of these pros taking charge. There ain't no way I'd take charge. You can see Shaq coming at you. That's a foul. Foul number 40. Love Grove. That's three on Love Grove. Four. Someone's got to sit down. Hey. <laughs> you know, we still got a 10 point game. Someone's We're getting got their main score out. Someone's got to sit down. It's not Carl. Kingsington's going in, so he's so far hadn't been much of a threat. Oh, I told you they send them. Yep. I think it is when they send them, we got to go after them. We, and we can't just lope down the floor. We got to get down there. That's a good play and a good look with the player. Hey, boy, they're cutting off that passing lane. Telegraphing our passes and it's going to kill us. Cardo picks up a foul. That's his first foul. I was saying earlier that law play, it's a good play with a player that, a Chuck, that has Chuck's leaping ability. But if you don't complete it, it's going the other way for easy layup. And that's exactly what we saw just then. We had to have really that's good control. He was contested on it anyway. There was a couple people under jumping right up there with him, so it would have been kind of hard to pull it off. Had the cheerleaders are working out. Raw, raw, raw. Fifty-five, forty-three, six, seventeen to go in the contest. We have a timeout. Fourth quarter. Both teams have five fouls. Got foul to give. floor here now, Tom. Cottle, Wheeler, Irvin, Dillard, and Gandy. Number 34. And for um, Grandview, we got Kingston, Elder, Baker, Wendell, and Irwin. That was good. <laughs> Goal by Wendell. I got that one right. I better give him a point. Yeah. He earned it. That gives him 15. He didn't earn it. That was a free throw. Well, he earned it. <laughs> Somebody fouled him. <laughs> Rebound with Gandy. And Wheeler's going to take over the point guard position. Caudle squares up. Well, won't go. Caudle used to really knock him in. He's, he's been a little off lately. Been in a slump, dry spell or something. We got a foul. Wendell. 
Wendell shooting two. He just come from the line, didn't he? Good, smart player finds a way to get there time and time again. I think we got some scouts up the top there. Tournament time. You don't know who you're going to draw. <laughs> you got it. So get in there. And window knocks it in. 58-43. They're slowly sneaking away from us, Tom. Oh, good, good hands. Get in, ball. Near rebound and saved by Gandy. He throws it the length of the court. If you want to save it, throw it. That's the best to throw it. <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> away from their basket. Force them to take it out away from their basket. So that, all around, that was a good play on his part. Did I summar summarize, it up, summarize it up pretty good? Yep. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> so you won't film the horses. Oh, no. Do you have to run along the side of when you film them, or how you do it? Hey, you stand up in the judge oh, stand. Man. Just, I got dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you did, because I know I've seen you guys out there dragging them horses behind a truck. Good pass by Irvin, and a steal by number 20. Baker, he's going the distance. Miller with the block. Uh-oh, here comes Gandy. Pass. Miller going up strong. I mean, Wheeler. Good. See, there they go. Shot, and they're going the other way. Nice foul. Who called that foul? Where, where at? You didn't see that mugging? I see the clear down there. He called it before it even happened. That's again his fourth foul. I guess if we're going to get a foul, you might as well get a real one. That was a good one. Be either, my thought. He's either fouling or give up the layup. 58 to 45, 447. Wendell's at the line again. That boy stays on that line, doesn't he? He's going to have 25 points of free throw. He got about 18. Yeah. He got five fouls in this, in this quarter. And they still only got seven fouls against us. They're just not missing any. Dillard, oh. Dillard with the rebound. And we got over the back by number 24, I'm sure. Irwin. 2 4 blue for us. Yeah. His name's Irwin, too. Oh, I just said Irwin. Irvin. <laughs> one's Irvin and one's Irwin. Ours is Irvin. Oh, yeah. The preacher's son. Dillard for three. A little short. Four. 60 to 45, at least went up to 15 now. And we got a foul on Dillard. Dillard. Looks like, looks like he's bleeding. You gotta come out of game when you're bleeding, don't you? The referee sees it. I can't believe he's not seeing it. Yeah, he's calling it. I'm out running. Now, that's pretty slick for him to get over there and get and not be recognized, because usually they'll catch that and you gotta come out of the game. They need to make that 20 second timeout or 40 second timeout. 20 seconds goes fast, doesn't it? Real fast. You get a 10 second warning though, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you do? Is that a new rule? Well, so really, they, they come and give you a 10 second warning, first warning, and they tell you when the. Do they give you a 10 second warning after 10 seconds or after 20 seconds? No, after 10. 
Oh, so really a 20 second timeout is a it's 30 second timeout. No. <laughs> when it's 10 seconds into the 20 second timeout, they'll come on and tell you, first warning, first car or whatever. And then they ring the buzzer, they hit the buzzer at the 20 so seconds. And after another 10 seconds, if you stay in there as long as you longer you're in truck. So the 20 second timeout's not a 30 second timeout. I'm calling a technical on you right now. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> That's a technical. John's getting confused. <laughs> he went on went to sleep, took that brand new coat Carl got him, laying over and all that dirt. Carl won't let him go downstairs. <laughs> Sixty-two forty-five. Four Penetrate minutes to go. Miller. London. Wheeler. Porkery. Sixty-two forty-eight. Randy on top by fourteen. Wheeler's uh, our big scorer in this quarter. He got seven. Yeah, that twenty-second timeout thing you just tried to explain to me—that's food for thought. I'm going to have to think about that this evening. You watch the next time they call on you. They'll come and tell you first warning. At 10 seconds, they tell you first warning. Then the second time they hit the buzzer, they want you to come out there. You won't come out. <laughs> you hold your team in there. And you, as long as you get away with it, I guess it's all right. And Miller goes out and gets him a foul. You believe that's only nine fouls? Brian Baker going to the line. And it's good. Brian Baker for one. You just give them all the points the same person all the time, don't you? Yeah, just like you read down the first five names and that's who's on the floor. <laughs> that's who's there. They're the starters. 64-48. Got, got his feet tangled up that time. Got a travel call against him. Slowing the game up. I can see what he meant by there are really no exceptional ball players out there. They just play together and know how to win. You talk about something that'll make you tired. Yeah, chasing that four corners. Bexley did that best. The only thing I can say was old nose. <laughs> Not again. I said more than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Tired. Because you know it's coming, what do you do about it? You want to see some fouls. Fourth quarter. Look at that. That was again. Those are all fouls. Dropping In all. one game. In one quarter. Oh. Wheeler, no good. Offense. The defense. Oh, we got the ball. What'd you say? They just played a good ball game tonight. Yeah, the they're down 17. They played hard on offense and defense. See, again, he was able to feel something on his back. He just couldn't get that ball to go. Oh, that's got to be out of bounds to London. White ball. Good call, Gary. Thank you. Got that on the monitor there. <laughs> see it. 
I was right on it. My man, my, my cameraman's right on it, buddy. Irvin for three. No good. Hey, this is a holler and start, start, start the clock. Look at him staring at the scorekeeper. Uh, And who's going to the line? Miller? Miller. No good. 65-48. We're under the minute and a half mark now. Three seconds. Good pivot foot move there. You seen movies pivot foot that time for a dribble? Traveling. Over and back. Good follow up, and we should have tried a foul. No foul was called. 50 to 65. 15 point difference. 10. <laughs> Who's that on? 24. Team's got team has the ball in the in the back court. Coach Holler, 10, 10. <laughs> 10. Man out front dribbling the ball. Defensive pressure. Five. Five. What do you think about that 20-second timeout call? I see you call a lot. I mean, I get. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did that the other night, they gave me a food time out. <laughs> yeah. 67 to 50. Got a 17 point difference now. We're under the minute mark. Shoot, Diller. Go by Diller. That gives him 14 for the contest. Still by Miller. He's taking it to the hoop. 52-67. At least we're going to get a shoot of one and one. Miller be going to the line. Like you said, it's 67 to 52. In favor of Grandview. Get the dancing doom, Carl. <laughs> she was, she was, she was trying to get up, but she wouldn't get up. I think she's heard about us. <laughs> she's dancing like you used to dance, sitting on the, on in, in on against the wall. <laughs> the wall Never, yeah. Hit one, Ryan, or Brian. <laughs> yeah, you missed it. I, I you get wanted to get it. You get rejected get time and time again. You learn to stay against the wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fun. Oh, days, oh man, it takes me way back. I can't remember that far back. Oh, did you see that left hand? Miller, ninth of the floor. Yeah, with the, there we're go. kind of fighting this up. Here goes the Perry Picker. 71 to 10. We can chalk this enough. I didn't even get the final score, but anyway, London comes out on the losing end. It's going to get better. 
I'll give you the round up here for London scoring. Where we had uh, Urban with six and Miller with 11. Unofficially Caudill with five. Wheeler ended up with 14. And Dillard had 14 to match 14 he had last night. Oh, he had 19 last night. And Gandy had uh, four. For Grandview, we had Kingston with two, Elder with 12, Baker with five, Wendell with 21, Irwin with 17, Lovegrove with 16, and Patterson with two. And those are unofficial scoring, but by the same token, this game is over. We'll see you next week. This is Gary McNeil, Tom Wilson, and Carl King saying good night, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Adios. Hasta luego.